Google is rolling out a huge update on their advertising campaigns. Google Smart Campaigns will now become Performance Max campaigns. They share a case study where a company increased its conversions by 22% and got a 20% reduction in overall CPA across the account just by switching to Performance Max. Hey guys, it's the Econ Bull here, and today we're gonna be taking a look at the future of advertising with Google. What's new? How to create a Performance Max campaign, how to create audience signals to speed up the optimization, and as a bonus, I will show you a trick to steal your competitors' traffic and sales. So let's get started in 3, 2, 1, yeah! Okay, so the primary difference between Performance Max and other campaigns is that Google automates the targeting and delivery of the campaign based on the information that the advertiser provides. If you already have the Google Sales Channel connected to Shopify, Google already has a ton of information about your products and your customers, so they already have an initial targeting in mind. Google will take the assets from your store and also the assets that you provide and mix and match them to create optimized versions for the ads. It's similar to what Facebook does when you upload the assets and then the titles and descriptions and you let them, you know, mix and match them. These ads will run across the entire Google inventory, and that includes search, display, YouTube, Gmail, and discovery campaigns. When it comes to bidding, now you can use the bid strategies of max conversions and also max values. You can also select a max CPA, a target CPA, and also a target ROAS. Now, all of this looks pretty nice, but let's get our hands dirty because we're gonna create a performance max campaign right now. All right, so let's jump into the Google Ads panel. And I have to give a shout out to Google because with Facebook and TikTok, I'm always trying to optimize the campaigns and everything, and it takes a lot of time. But with Google, I just created the campaigns and left them run there for years. And for example, in the past 180 days, look at the ROAS. I'm getting about a three times ROAS. You know, it costs $1,700 and it has sold $4,700. And I barely open you know this panel i almost never never check this but you know that's pretty good they they know what they're doing and now with the optimize the performance max it should be a lot better at least 20 percent better so let's click on new campaign i am selling products so i'm gonna go for sales for the advertising objective let's click on continue and now here we're gonna select let me move myself out of the frame uh, so we have search, performance max, the new one. We got display, we got shopping, video, and discovery. If you have the Google sales channel on Shopify, let me show you, you're probably already doing the smart shopping campaigns, right? So you're promoting products in Google search, YouTube, you know, stuff like that. But we're gonna create a performance max, the new one. By the way, Shopify is gonna automatically move everybody that is on the smart shopping campaigns. They're gonna move them to performance max. You don't have to do anything, okay? But I'm gonna show you how to improve it. By the way, if you don't have Shopify yet or you're making a new store, make sure you check the link that I have on the description that it will give you 14 days for free and then three months for $1 per month to use Shopify, try your store and all of that, right? So let's click on performance max. Once you have it on Shopify, you can just click there and this will open and you can continue. But we're gonna create one from scratch. Let's create a merchant center campaign. Let's give it a name and click continue. Let's give it a budget. I'm gonna be very generous, so I'm gonna give it $1. No, nah, just kidding, I'm gonna give it $10. The good thing about Google is that it's not like TikTok and Facebook that you have to spend, you know, 20 times your average uh, cost per acquisition to get out of the learning phase or get 50 conversions. You know, the, Google is a little bit uh, less demanding. But of course, if you want to put more budget, you know, it's even better. Um, but this is just a test, so I'm putting $10. And we're gonna optimize for conversion value. This campaign will use the maximize conversion value bid strategy to help you get the most conversion value for your budget. Yeah, pretty good. All right, so let's set a target return on ad spend, all right? And I want a ROAS of at least 200%, which in the case of this website that I'm gonna be promoting is not rare. Don't go too optimistic, right? Because then Google will not serve your ads if they can't reach your, you know, two times ROAS. I will suggest to put something there that you're profitable or at least breaking even just to start. Then you can increase it after, but just don't put 
500% ROAS when you know that your store is getting a 150% ROAS. All right, so let's click on next. I'm only gonna target United States and the languages, English is fine. Now let's check out the settings. So I want them to run for the entire day, start and end date. I normally keep them running, but since this is a test, I'm just gonna select an end date and it's gonna be just, you know, one month from now. So September 30, that's fine. Final URL expansion. So right now, when you have this on, Google automatically will send traffic to whatever page they are promoting, like the product page. If they check an ad for the product, it will go to that product page. You can, you know, exclude URLs or you can specify a specific page that you want everybody to go, regardless of what product they saw or what kind of ad combination they saw. So let's click on next. Now let's create the asset group. This is basically the ads, all right? I'm just gonna leave it with that standard name, asset group one, that's fine. So let's select the products. So I'm gonna use all the products or use a selection of products. If you click on use a selection of products, let me move myself again. So as you can see, I have apparel and accessories. Most of my products are in that category. Automatically, Google takes this information from your Shopify store. These are the categories that Google already has. But since it's connected to my store, I want to look for product type, right? And these are actually categories that I have within my Shopify store. And I want to promote men's sweat activated shirts. All right, I only want to promote those. I don't want to promote women's fitness wear or anything else. I just want to focus on that. So let's click on save. For the final URL, you can leave it as your homepage or better have a landing page. But this is going to be overridden because we have the URL expansion on. We selected that on the previous step. So let's click here for best performance. Your final URL might be replaced with a more relevant landing page and headline description, blah, 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 blah. All right. So images, this is where you will upload a few images. You will upload the logos of your company and also videos. Then you add headlines, long headlines. You can add up to five, right? And then short descriptions and descriptions. Your business name, all of that. And Google will start showing you here all of the possible combinations and they will, you know, do their own thing and make it work somehow. So let me just fill this up really quickly. <laughs> All right, so I changed the final URL. I just put a landing page in there. I added a few images, the logo, the video, uh, and some headlines and descriptions. So if you click here on the previous, when you go to YouTube, this is what video will show. Gmail, search, display, and discover all right so that's all pretty good they will combine them and do their magic and now something super important audience signals use an audience signal to reach the right audiences faster start by creating or adding an audience performance max will use it as a starting point to find new conversions across google all right so let's add an audience signal. I have already added uh, an audience signal before, but let's just create a new one. So new audience, let's give it a name. So I'm looking for people that have a workout interest, right? That they are trying to stay fit. Now let's add a custom segment. If you click on there, you might see some suggestions uh, for search and also for browse. I already have some history here with Google Ads, so they give me some suggestions, but let's create a new custom segment. Segment name would be fitness enthusiasts. Now let's click on people with any of these interests or purchase intentions, and let's start putting stuff. For example, sweat activated, enter. I put workout and some of this stuff appears. Let me select the ones that I like. Running, I have a few shirts that are for runners gym shirts of course all right that should be enough so let's click on save and now we have the custom segment now you can further improve the audience signal by adding your own data so let's click here and let's click on browse and here i'm going to show you how to create a new data list so click on data list and we're gonna come over here now that we're on the audience manager all right we click on the plus sign we're going to click on website visitors. 
let's give it the name website visitors last 90 days segment members so it's gonna be visitors of a page and the page url should contain just put your basic home page so it attracts everything if you only want to include people that visit a specific product page or a specific category you can just put your website slash category slash shoes you know and just leave the rest and it will only collect people from there but i want everybody that went to my website prefill options we're gonna set it to prefill all right so we don't have to start from scratch membership duration we're gonna put 90 days all right the maximum is 540 days create let's go all right so this has already been created let's go back to where we were let's click on your data again you might have to refresh the page right so it appears let's look for the one that we just made website visitors last 90 days now let's add interest and detailed demographics and let's just look for active wear in my case all right yeah that's fine you can you know expand on this a lot and so demographics let's do only males and the age i'm gonna go all the way to 44 years old 18 to 44 additional demographics i don't care about any of that for now and let's click save your audience signal has been added performance max will go beyond your selection to find new conversions based on your goals perfect that's the whole point okay all right so next then you can add some extensions i always recommend to add some site link extensions so you get more real estate right there on the ad so you see your ad will be like that and then the extensions there you can add phone numbers and other stuff look you can add lead forms price extensions promotion extensions like oh 20 percent whatever call outs all of that F free shipping all of that actually let me just let me just add that all right uh, that's good let's click on next and everything is ready to go all right let's just take a quick look that's fine publish campaign all right so now here's what's gonna happen so the campaign is created now they're gonna review it when i did it a couple of days ago it only took about eight hours for them to review and then you start getting the impressions and hopefully start getting conversions now uh, you can see you know a few details here to see how your ad strength is looking and all of that and you can further optimize it because they will give you some suggestions like oh increase the budget or oh uh, add these uh, key phrases. Google will automatically let you know every time you log in, hey, your campaign is 80% optimized or 90%. Now let's go to the bonus section of this video. How can you steal your competitor's traffic and sales? Let's take a look. So we're back on the Google Ads panel. Let's create a new campaign. And this time we're gonna go for sales again. Click on continue. And we're gonna go for search. Select website visits. Select a target CPA if you want to. I'm just going to put $15. Click on next. And we're going to target only people from United States. Let's really quickly click on next. And here's the fun part. All right, so keywords. Get keyword suggestions. So you can put the URL of one of your competitors right here. Let's say that you sell shoes and your competitor, your closest competitor is Sapos. So we're going to go and put Sapos dot com then click on get keyword suggestions and it will populate with all of the keywords that this website is aiming for so you can basically just you know leave them there and create your ads of course you know you can add several websites there and it will continue to be populating remove the ones that you don't need and for example let's say that you have sapos men shoes now normally if you are trying to sell a different brand, you will think, oh, no, I don't want to put Sapos on my search. But remember that the whole point of advertising is to steal your competitor's traffic, especially on Google, right? So you're going to leave Sapos men's shoes because when someone searches for Sapos men's shoes, look what happens. You know, of course, you have the Sapos, but look, you have Adidas, you have, you know, Old Birds. You have a bunch and your ad could be right here. And if you're selling something that is similar to Sapos shoes, but better at a better price, you can easily steal those sales. Now you have all of these new sales and all of these new customers. And the next step will be to retarget them. But 
How can we retarget them using email or SMS? Well, check out this video right here where I show you how to do just that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm out.